So I was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 35, completely out of the blue, um, could not have you know surprised me more on that. And then let's see, so I'm about four years out, I had a double mastectomy and I had chemo and radiation. And so I am so glad to be done with all of that now. I would suggest for women under 40 that you're not getting you know regular mammograms to just be really, really self-aware of your own body. And that's what I tell all of my friends, like anything that seems weird, you don't need to be you know, paranoid or over the top about it, but definitely get something checked out. Nothing is too small to investigate. My advice for someone that has been diagnosed with cancer is to stay positive, and you know rely on your friends and family and like let them help you but stay positive because there are so many treatments and organizations out there to help so there were several nonprofits that i worked with during my breast cancer journey it's called peace out cancer really sweet um women that you know bring these chairs around house to house they started with and one of those recliner chairs that um, helps you stand up all the way, um, lets you use it for your recovery time. And then when you're done, they pick it up and, and take it to someone else. So that was really helpful to me and really helped in the, in the recovery because you don't have a lot of use of your arms right after the surgery. And then the second organization that comes to mind is a nonprofit called First Descents. It, it's such a cool organization. They um, they do adventure trips for cancer, young cancer um, survivors. And so any type of cancer, and if you are were diagnosed with cancer before the age of 40, and you're still under the age of 40, um, you can sign up to do like an, an adventure trip. And ended up doing a week long whitewater rafting trip to Oregon. They bring in a chef and they cook organic food the whole week. And it's literally 15 people from all over the US. Um, they can be from anywhere, any type of cancer. The only thing we all had in common was that we had all been diagnosed with cancer at a, at a young age. And so the trip is completely sponsored by people that donate money to the nonprofit. And it was amazing. And we still stay in touch. We're on a group text and, um, you know, it, it just brought people together to support each other. And it, it's a really, really neat organization. So I would say thank you so much. Oh, I wish I could say without crying, but I don't think I can. I could not have, have gotten through any of it without all the support that we had. So um, people to, to like, you know, bring stuff to the kids and meals for, months and months on end um, you know so many little care baskets and gifts and just things to try to make it easier because at the end of the day you know i had to get through it and do all of that but there was so many so many kind people the uncommon giving platform is an amazing way for um, individuals families to find different organizations that support causes that are you know, near and dear to their heart. And so for our family, and especially in the month of October, um, we support breast cancer organizations and um, are always looking for like a unique nonprofit that has a special meaning to someone in our family to support. And so I think it's a great way to give back and to um, help organizations that might have trouble with funding and, and raising money otherwise. So it's a great, great platform. Wash me in the water. Cleanse me in the mercy of your love. I need